Mako Madness fans, this is Dan checking in from the Mako Track and Support Storage lot. Looks like we have some track pieces on the flatbed right there. Looking like those are about to go inside the park. As we know, last week vertical construction did start. There is another segment of track right over there. Looks for a brake run or station area. But that's at least uh, going on over here. I haven't seen any other new pieces in the area. Uh, but glad to see vertical construction has started. We're going to head over to the park and see what's new. Here's one other look of the Mako track on the flatbeds here. Love it. One segment there. The other one is right there. Heading over very soon. Welcome aboard the SeaWorld Sky Tower. As you take your ride up to a height of 300 feet. Just about 300 feet up now. The big drill is out on the back area. Looks like it's just about finished up on the drilling duties. A lot of the footers I know have started on the back area. We can see some of the pylons still there as well. And from here you can see a bunch of work. Miles and, miles. and this is where the drop area, lift area is. Base of the lift over here. And would you look at that folks. Vertical construction has started. We have Mako supports for the station. And right before the station area, some transfer track area as well. Man, that looks really, really awesome to finally see. A whole bunch more that's going to be happening very soon. More footers all over the area, and it looks like they finally have started right over by the Flamingo Boat Docks. SeaWorld's Water Park. So what do you do when the water keeps leaking in like that right over there? As you can see, it's still coming into the area. Well, they've decided to do this as their solution. They're going to put some uh, pile drivers, it looks like, into the ground to act as a barrier to keep the water out. As you can see, he's interlocking them right there, and that's going to be able to keep all that water out. Once they get it right where they need to do, that machine right there vibrates them into the ground to create that seal. So I'm over here from the Flamingo boat dock area. Again, not a whole lot has really changed, but this right here is gonna allow a lot of work to be done very, very soon. They still have the pumps going. Uh, rebar is actually on site over here, so it looks like they're gonna try to get the footers done very, very, very soon here. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Checking in over by Sharks Underwater Grill. Most of the concrete for the new pathway is in. And as we can see from the sky tower and uh, some of the photos I took, a uh, giant shark is still there, not filled in with the concrete, but just looking around the area, most of the other concrete is in. Getting a much better look now at the track and support area. Man, doesn't that look great? They have a whole bunch of the track that's up now. Some of the station transfer track is now starting to go up. We saw in the track and support storage lot, some of those pieces that are gonna be coming over very, very soon. But this is a great view of the new pieces. People. There's the people. What is this people? I see. Oh, oh, what's that? Well guys, that is going to do it for our Mako update. As always, we have Manta signing us off right there. Love it. A lot of new vertical construction, expecting a lot more in the next coming weeks. We got a lot of exciting things. So as always, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, and our YouTube page.